friends, good morning. So today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about sets in JavaScript. Now sets aren't used that much, I find. People kind of forget about them. Um, let's say that we were tasked with, we, we're given an array, so const r equals an array, and we'll just keep the numbers simple, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 4. And let's say that we wanted to remove these duplicates, so remove dupes from r. Normally what we do is build a function called remove dupes, or remove duplications, whatever. We pass in the array, and then we maybe make a result variable equals an empty array, and then we could iterate through the array, so r dot for each, and that gives us access to a callback, lm, and this is all simple stuff. We'll just say if result dot includes um, lm, we can actually put do a not here, so we can say if not results includes the element, so if the element is not in the results array, we'll push it in there, result push lm, and then down here we can just return result. And then down here we can console.log the remove dupes, right, with the array passed in. Let's actually move that array down here. Okay, so if we run this, we can see that we get, it, it removes all the duplicates from there. So now it's just one, two, three, four. If we put a five in here, a bunch of fives, it'll just return one, two, three, four, five, right? So it gives us back an array of the unique values in it. Now that's like, let's see, that's uh, 10 lines of code, nine lines of code to do all that. So that's a lot of code. So is there a way that we could do it easier? Uh, so let's enter in, let's talk about sets. So what sets do, sets are, it's, it's, an, it's a class in JavaScript that lets you store an array of unique values. So it's an array-like structure that can only take in unique values. It forces uniqueness, basically. So let's say that we have this const r right here. Well, what would happen if we just go, and this is how you uh, make a set, you can just go const uh, new set equals new set with the array passed in. And then let's console.log the set, right? New set right here. So it basically does uh, what that, what that, uh, it basically does what the remove dupes method did, but in one line of code. Now you can look at this and you're like, well, that actually looks like a, an object of some type. It's got curly braces on the end. Well, the thing is, is that it's not, it's not exactly an array, but it's an array-like structure, meaning that even some of the higher order array helper methods work on it. So you could use for each or things like that on this. However, let's go over some stuff with sets. So we have this set right now. It's our new set. It's got one, two, three, four, and five in it. Those are the unique values. So what if we wanted to add a value to it? So we can go new set dot add, and then we can add, let's try to add four to it since it's already got a four. And then we'll console log it down here. So when we try to add four, it's actually not going to do anything because it's already got a four. But if we try to add 44, since that's not in the set, you can see that it adds 44 here, right? So you can, the, another thing that's cool about this is you can actually chain these together. So you can add 44, 34, and then you could dot add, you know, 25. And then let's try to add another one down here. And it's gonna check to see if any of those are in there. So these are all guaranteed to be unique values every time. You see, we still only have one one here. We tried to add one here, but it didn't work. So you can add things to it, and you can also take things away from it. So we can go new set dot delete, and we want to delete, let's just say we want to delete all the fours, right? And then we console log the set down here, and you can see the four is gone, and we have the 44, 34, and 25 there at the end. Okay, cool. So that's good. That's all well and good. Now let's talk about something real quick. So when you're accessing an array, so in that R, if we wanted to access the first element, we would just go const R equals r at zero. This is simple stuff, and or const first, rather. First, and then we could console log first down here. And you can see that it'll give us the first element within that array. It gives us that one. But with sets, so in new set, if we try to console log new set, at zero, it's always going to return undefined to us because you can't access individual elements like that because that's not really what sets are used for. Sets are, like I said at the beginning, sets are 
used to remove duplications, maybe ensure uniqueness of something. So let's at the at the at the beginning when we did the remove duplicates where it was like nine codes, let's try to build a function like that. So we'll just do remove dupes but with sets. We'll pass in the R. And then the same thing, what we're gonna do, instead of writing nine lines of code, what we can do is just very simply return the, uh, so we have to make a new set real quick. So we'll go const result equals new set with R passed in. And then we can just return the result like this. And you can see if we console log, why did I erase all my arrays and stuff? Let me make another array. Const r equals one, two, three, four, 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 five, 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 six, 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 seven. So if we console log our uh, remove dupes r, it's going to return an array. See, now this is an array and not a set. So when we when we have a set like this we can just map it over a new array like that with the dot notation. So three dots and then result is gonna map it over a new array. And I don't know if you guys, I don't know if I've taught that before actually, let me just do an example here. So let's say that I had uh, const set equals new set of one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we CLG that set. You can see, uh, let's see here, new set, one is not iterable. Oh, I gotta put it in an array-like structure. Like this. So what that will do is pass you back a set, but it doesn't have any duplicates because if we had like another five in here, for example, it would take out that five. So since that's, you can see that it's different from an array because it's 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 got curly braces on the end, so it's actually a set. So we can, using that syntax go const r equals and then we can open curly brackets do three dots and say set right here and what it's going to do uh, we'll console log that clg r what that will do is it will take what's in the set which is guaranteed to be unique and then the three dots and the set will put it inside of an array it'll map it over an empty array and that's what that is so let's um so we've done the remove dupes uh the remove dupes uh method right here or function rather let's do one where we guarantee uniqueness so maybe we could go function unique and maybe they would say hey uh, we want to write a function that determines if every individual element within the array is unique what we can do is pass in the array right here and then we can just go const uh, set equals new set with the r passed in and then we can return if uh, r dot link is equal to set.size and we'll return that. So this one, if we do uh, unique, this should return false because you can see on line 11 there's a lot of duplicates in it. That's false. So this is determining if the array has unique values or not. But if we take away all the duplication, we just have one, two, three, four, this should return true. So that's basically an overview of sets. Sets are really cool in JavaScript. They're really quick to help you uh, check to see if arrays have duplicates to force uniqueness in arrays and things like that. So um, they're, they're really good workaround toward, uh, instead of mapping over an array, removing duplicates, finding out, you know, if each individual value is unique, things like that. So um, hope it helped. Um, take it easy.